Hi guys, today we will be learning about the history of Korea. And it's by me. Be sure to like and subscribe. Now let's get straight into the video. So, the first period was the prehistoric period of Korea. Prehistoric Korea is the era of human existence in the K Korea Peninsula for which written records do not exist. By 4000 BC, there were Stone Age farmers living in Korea. By 1000 BC, they had learned to use bronze. By about 300 BC, they had learned to use iron to make tools and weapons. At first, Korea was divided into tribes, but eventually organized kingdoms emerged. There were three of them, Gorguryeo in the north, and Sila, and Bakje in the south. According to legend, Sila was founded in 57 BC by Bak Hyo Ke Gyosi. Drumong founded Gugorio in 37 BC, and Onjo founded Bakje in 18 BC. In reality, the three kingdoms emerged later between the 2nd and 4th centuries AD. These three kingdoms were heavily influenced by Chinese civilizations. By the 4th century, they were highly civilized. Korean and this is a Korean earthen whale jar with calm pattern made in 4000 BC. Now it is in the British Museum. The next age was the Gojoseon, Chinese rule, and Jing. Gojoseon was one was the first Korean kingdom located in the north of the peninsula. Legends say that the country was established in 2333 BCE by Dangu, said to be descended from heaven by about 4th century BCE. Gojoseon had developed to the point where its existence was well known to China and around this time, its capital moved to Pyongyang. In 108 BCE, the Chinese Han Dynasty defeated Wimen Joseon. Around 300 BCE, a state called Jing arose in the south southern part of Korean peninsula. Very little is known about, about Jin, but it established relationships with Hong China. Around 100 BCE, Qing evolved into the Sam Han Confederacies. This is Korea in 108 BCE. So this is Gojoseon, and this is Qing, and this is Han China over here. So the next era was the Proto Three Kingdom slash several state period. So the Proto Three Kingdoms period, sometimes called the several state period, is the time before the rise of the three kingdoms of Korea. If you know your prefixes, you would know Proto means before. So that will make sense. The three kingdoms of Korea included Gogoryeo, Sila, and Bakje, and occurred after the fall of Jojoseon. This time period consisted of numerous states that sprang up from the former territories of Jojoseon. Among these states, the largest and most influential, influential were Dongbyo, and Bukbuyo. 
This is a map of the Proto Three Kingdoms 1C. And this is a gold buckle from the Proto Three Kingdoms period. So the next uh, era is the Three Kingdoms, Three Kingdoms of Korea, as I hinted before. So this time period is very similar to Sun Guo Shi Qi in China, and that means that also means the Three Kingdoms, but it's of China. The Three Kingdoms of Korea consists of Goguryeo, Bakje, and Silla. Goguryeo was found in thirty founded in thirty seven BCE by Jumo, Goguryeo, also spelled as K O G U R Y O, and was also known as Goryeo, also spelled. As K O R Y O, and it eventually became the source of the modern name of Korea. It was a very powerful kingdom, but was first defeated by Tang, China, and Silla. So they teamed up and defeated the most powerful kingdom. Bakje was founded by Onjo, a Goguryeo prince. And was the third son of the founder of Goguryeo. It was also defeated by Silla and Tang. Silla was the smallest and weakest of the three kingdoms of Korea, but as you might have guessed, it was very cunning, and it made opportun opportun opportunities for itself, and it allied itself with stronger countries. Like Tang China to its great advantage. This is a map at Goguryeo at its height in 476 CE. The Go, you can see how Goguryeo、uh, has most of the land in the Korea Peninsula and beyond it. The next era is the North and South States. The term North and South States refers to unified Silla and Balhae. During the time when Silla controlled the majority of the Korean Peninsula, or Balhae expanded in the Manchuria. During this time, culture and technology significantly advanced, especially in unite a、uh, unified Silla. Unified Silla was a golden age of art and culture. During this period. A, a long distance trade between Unify Silla and other countries were documented in the Persian Geographer, in the Book of Roads and Kingdoms. Balhae was founded only thirty years after Gogoria has fallen, in six hundred ninety eight. It was founded in the northern part of former lands in Gogoria by Day. Joryeo, a former Goguryeo general, unified Silla lasted for two hundred sixty-seven years. This is a map of a、uh, unified Silla and Balhae. Balhae, as you can see, is in the north. Unified Silla is in the south. The next. Era is called the later Three Kingdoms, which came after the original Three Kingdoms of Korea. The later Three Kingdoms, as I said, were like the sequel to the Three Kingdoms. The later Three Kingdoms period, which was from 892 to 936, consisted of unified Silla and other rival of Bakje and Goguryeo. Known historiographically as Later Bakje and Later Goguryeo, by 936 Goguryeo conquered its rivals and achieved the unification of the Later Three Kingdoms. So, as a summary, Goguryeo finally conquered the whole Korean Peninsula in the Later Three Kingdoms. 
The next era is the Go- Goryeo Dynasty. Goryeo was founded by Wang Gyeong Ge- in 918 and became the ruling dynasty of Korea by 936. It was named Goryeo because of Wang Gyeong, a descendant of Gogoryeo nobody, deemed the nation as the successor of Gogoryeo. During this period, laws were made and a civil service system was introduced. Buddhism flourished and spread throughout the peninsula. In 1018, the, Katan, the Kitan Empire, which was the most powerful in empire of its time, invaded Goryeo but was defeated. The Goryeo dynasty will last until 1392, until the founder of Joseon dynasty took power. This is a picture of the founder of Goryeo dynasty. He lived from 877 to 943. Next is the Joseon dynasty, a very important one in the Korean history. So in 1392, the general Yi Xiang-ge, later known as Jeto, established the Joseon dynasty, which lasted from 1392 to 1897, in name of honor, uh, named in honor of the ancient kingdom Jojoseon. Jeto, uh, Tejo, moved the capital to Hongyang, which is modern-day Seoul, and built a Giang Bokgong Palace. In 1394, he adopted Neo-Confucianism, which is a religion as the country's official religion. Internal conflicts within the royal court civil unrest, and other political struggles plagued the nation in the years that followed, worsened by the Japanese invasion of Korea between 1592 and 1598. After the second Manchu invasion and stabilized relationship with the new Qing dynasty of China, Zhou Xian experienced a nearly 200-year period of external peace. However, Internally, the bitter and violent fractional battles raged on. Corruptions in government and social unrest prevailed, which means proved more powerful after 1776. Suddenly, Christianity passed around from Europe to Korea, and Korea's officials resented it. Then, Korea officials were raging, and they killed anyone who was a Christian. Korean then dealt with a pair of Japanese invasions from 1592 to 1598, the Imjin War or the Seven Year War. Prior to the war, Korean sent two ambassadors to scout for signs of Japan's intentions of invading Korea. However, they came back with two different reports, and while the politicians split two sides, few measures were taken. Subsequently, Korea was invaded in 1627 and again in 1636 by the Manchus. During the 19th century, Korea adopted an isolation policy. The Koreans refused to trade with Westerners. At first, this uh, policy was a success. In 1853, the USS South American and American gunboat visited Busan for 10 days and had amiable contact with local officials. Several American shipwrecks on Korea in 1855 and 1865 were also treated well and sent to China for repatriation. The General Sherman, an American-owned and armed merchant marine sidewell schooner, attempted to open Korea to trade in 1866. After initial miscommunication, a fight broke out and four Koreans died. After two 
of Wood's efforts to destroy the ship had failed. It was finally set aflame by Korean fire ships laden with explosives. In response, the United States confronted the Korean military in 1871, killing 243 Koreans in Gong Hua Island before withdrawing. This incident is called the Sin Mi Yang Yo in Korea. Five years later, the reclusive Korea finally signed a trade treaty with Japan, and in 1882 signed a treaty with the United States, ending centuries of isolation. This picture is King J. Taejo's portrait, who established the Joseon Dynasty. Next is a very short-lived period of the Korean history called the Korean Empire. It lasted from 1897 to 1910. As a result of the First Sino-Japanese War, which started in 1894 and ended in 1895, the 1895 Treaty of Shimonoseki was concluded between China and Japan. It destroyed relationships. Korea had with China, in which Korea was a tributary state of China since the Qing invasion of Joseon, uh, Joseon, in 1636. In 80, in 1896, Joseon was renamed the Korean Empire, and King jo- Gojong became Emperor Gojong. The imperial government aimed to become a strong and independent nation. By helping domestic reforms, strengthening military forces, developing commerce and industry, and surveying land ownership, Russian influ- influence was strong in the empire until being defeated by Japan in the Russo-Japanese War that started in 1904 and ended in 1905. Korea effectively became a protectory, pro- protectorate of Japan on 17th November 1905. The 1905 protectora- protectorate treaty, having been agreed without Emperor Gojong's required seal or commission, in 1907 the Japanese found out that Gojong. Was sending people to tell the United Nation about Japan's mistreatment. They forced Gojong to step down and give the crown to his son, Empire Sunjo. The Japanese banned all political organizations and proceeded with plans for annexation. This is a picture of the Korean Empire flag. You might think you might notice that it looks very similar to the South Korea flag, and you are very correct, except for the colors and placement of the colors in the middle. The next period of time in the Korean history was very brutal, called the Japanese rule. The Japanese turned Korea into a colony to supply Japanese、uh, Japan with food. However, they also built bridges, railways, and roads. The Japanese also built many factories in Korea. The urban population grew rapidly, although Korea Korea remained mostly agricultural. Nevertheless, Jap- Japanese rule was repressive. In 1919. Many Koreans took part in peaceful demonstrations for independence. The Japanese responded by arresting and executing thousands of people. Afterwards, they made some small reforms. The Koreans were allowed to print newspapers and hold meetings. They also granted religious freedoms, and more respect was shown to Korean customs. However, all these reforms were superficial. And in the 1930s, the Japanese tried to assimilate 
the Koreans by persuading them to adopt Japanese names. From 1938, education was only in Japanese. School children were forbidden to speak Korean. The Japanese also tried pro- persuading the Koreans to adopt Shinto, the Japanese national religion, without much success. During the World War II, many Koreans either volunteered or were forced to work in Japan. However, Japanese attempts to turn Korea into part of Japan were ended in 1945 when they surrendered to the Allies. This is a picture of the March First Movement in 1919. This next era is called Division and Korean War, which lasted from 1945 to 1953. After World War II, Japanese occupation ends with Soviet troops occupying area north of the 38th parallel, and U.S. troops in the south. Even before the war, world. Uh, even before the war ended, Russia and the USA had agreed that after the war, Korea would be divided into two zones: Russian and American. In August nineteen forty-five, Russian troops entered the north. In September, after the Japanese surrender, American troops landed in the south. Korea was divided in two. Uh, into along an imaginary line called the Thirty Eighth Parallel. It was originally intended that the two zones would would eventually be unified, united into one. Of course, that did not happen. With the onset of the Cold War, the divide between them hardened. The Russians installed a communist government in the north, and the South, a government was elected in nineteen forty eight. Korea became two countries, one communist and one dom-、uh, democratic. In the north, the Russians made Kim Il Sung the leader, and the United States made Syng Man Ri as the leader for the south. The North Korean army invaded the south on June twenty fifth, nineteen forty nineteen fifty, and the Korea War started. They quickly drove south. And captured Seoul. By the time UN or United Nations Security Council invited members to help the South, North Korea has already captured ninety percent of the Korean Peninsula. U.S. troops arrived on third, June thirtieth, but they were forced to retro,、uh, withdraw into the area around Busan. The first British troops arrived in Korea. On twenty ninth, August nineteen fifty, on the fifteenth September, other U.S. troops landed at Incheon, five hundred fifty miles north of Busan. The soldiers at Busan area broke out and pushed north, and linked up with the troops in Incheon on twenty sixth of September. On the same day, Allied troops liberated Seoul. United Nations troops. Then pushed the communists back over the 38th parallel, and by 24th of November, they controlled about two thirds of North Korea. However, the Chinese had intervened, strengthened by Chinese 180,000 troops. The communists then counterattacked and drove the Allies south. By the end of 1950, the Allies were back at the 38th parallel. The war went like this for three years. The war ended in a stalemate, and on twenty seventh of July, nineteen fifty three, a ceasefire was signed. The thirty eighth parallel was once again the border between the two countries. Nearly three million people died, so the whole war was just pointless. Be- uh, but with a lot of lives lost. This. Picture shows American Marines climbing a seawall at Incheon during a decisive moment in the timeline of the Korean War. The next period of time is modern Korea, which 
which uh, started from 1953 to the present. First, let's talk about South Korea. Democracy did not flourish in South Korea in the 1950s. The president, Sing Man Ri, used a national security law of 1949 to close newspapers and imprison critics. However, his administration was corrupt, and by 1960, it was facing growing economic problems. In 1960, riots by students forced Ri to resign. Faced with inflation, unemployment, and continuing riots, the army staged a coup in 1961. General Park Chung-hee became ruler. In stark contrast is North Korea. After Russian troops occupied the North, a communist government was installed. Kim Il-sung made a, uh, was made a ruler. Like many dictators, he created a cult of personality by erecting statues of himself everywhere. School children were taught to see him as the front of all wisdom and as a god. In fact, he created a very impre- a repressive regime. Religious beliefs were outlawed and the people strictly controlled. Today, North Korea is the last Stalinist re- re- regime in the world. With a great deal of Russian aid, North Korea was transformed from a poor agricultural country into an industrial one. However, in the mid 1960s, 1970s, I'm sorry, the economy began to began to crush and North Korea was overtaken by the South. Furthermore, North Korea was harmed by the collapse of Soviet Union. Kim Il-sung died in 1994, but was succeeded by his son. In effect, the communists have created a new dynasty. Kim Il-sung, uh, Kim Jong-il, he died in 2011, and he was followed by his son, Kim Jong-un. In 2008, a woman named Yi so Young became the first Korean to travel in space. Then, in 2013, Park Gyeon Hye became the first woman president of South America. In 2018, there was a fall in relationships between North and South Korea. In 2020, the population of North Korea was 25 million, while the population of South Korea was 51 million. This picture is a picture of Busan. Thank you. I hope you learned about Koreans, uh, Korea's history. Be sure to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.